did he meets man whose life he saved. So people are responding to this properly. There's only one beach. You're not supposed to save somebody in the beach next door. And so the person was dying. He went and saved him. The other lifeguard said, we'll save somebody too and got fired. But wait a minute, the law, and I looked this up, they have the same similar law in Florida, is Good Samaritan. If you see somebody flip and the car flips and you're the first on the scene, if you don't stop to render aid, you're liable. And it's the same thing here. You, you, it's not just your right to overthrow tyranny, it's your duty. We're going to go to break, come back, go right to your calls, 800-259-9231. Uh, before we go any further, though, uh, don't forget when you buy books, tapes, videos, and other great products that wake people up at Infowars.com or Infowarsshop.com. We'll get you there. It'll get you directly there, Infowarsshop.com or Infowarsstore.com. Your purchase makes this whole operation possible. Plus, you get the best materials out there. And by the way, we're the only ones that have this. It's not even for sale yet. Until the 24th, we have it in stock, 5,000 of them. Dreams from My Real Father, incredible film available at InfoWarsShop.com. And Pro Pure water filters already at the lowest price they are anywhere. The best gravity-fed filter out there. We have side-by-side -side comparisons with a leading competitor. You get 10% off on the already lowest price with the code WATER at checkout at InfoWarsShop.com. You can also call here to the office, to our crew, and they can take your order 888-253-3139 and uh, give you that discount, whether it's the Traveler unit or the big Pro Pure King water filtration system or the big uh, water filtration system from Pro Pure. We've also got the shower filters, everything at the lowest prices right there, right now. 10% off all the products at InfoWarsShop.com or 888-253-3139 or P.O. Box 19549, Austin, Texas, 78760. Your phone calls and a ton of news as we chronicle the criminal activities of the New World Order. And that's why they're selling millions of firearms a month. As people know, we're in an emergency. World government is openly being announced. The global social engineers are now upon us. Let's go to your phone calls ahead of a ton of news I haven't even gotten to yet on the economy, on politics, on drones, on so much more. But right now, let's go to your phone calls. Anthony in New Jersey, listening on iTunes. Uh, you're on the air, Anthony. Welcome. Alex, great to talk to you. Yes, sir. Uh, um, wow, well, so much. It's so much to talk about. Well, this is how I see it. They, New World Order, the bankers, they're they have their plan, and they're committed, and they know if they don't succeed with this, they're going to fail, and they're going to go to jail. They're going to be prosecuted. No, that's and, it. I mean, no, they're totally committed. And that people try to argue with them. People sit there and try to have debates like, oh, they're misguided. No, they're following a public scientific program of total takeover. Exactly, in every facet of our life. Now, I don't, the people, and I hear you, you talk to your blue in the face, and I, I do the best I can to try to wake people up, videos, they're your website, planetinfowars.com, um, the new one you just put out. And I don't think the people, the citizens, realize that this is not going to get better. Every day you come on the radio, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. It's more, it's more aspects of our life. No, it's getting, getting cartoon worse. crazy. I can't believe how fast it's moving. But, but a lot of people are waking up right now. So we have to take heart. Uh, there are a lot of people finally waking up to what's happening. But... The system just goes ahead with the takeover. Right. And the last point I want to make is we, citizens, we have to, like the actors, the entertainers, the sports, they know what's going on. They know exactly what's going on. You don't get to that level and you don't see and hear things. They know what's going on, but they're keeping their mouth shut. They don't want to talk. They don't want to get involved. And here we are. Spending two, three hundred dollars a ticket to go to their game, and meanwhile, they know the big picture. They know what's going on, and no one's confronting them as well. On top of the media, 
That's so because I mean, that's because of television and movies. Uh, the whole corporate world, they meet in these big board meetings. You know, the top Fortune 100 or so, they agree on the program. They incrementally roll this stuff out. That's why it's so hard to beat uh, is that it's a creeping death. But it's now reached a galloping speed. So take heart. I hear you. All we can do is fight back against it and speak out against it because we'd be in a lot worse shape right now if folks hadn't been resisting it. They're behind schedule. That's why they're trying to move things forward a lot faster now and kind of skip some of the in-between steps because they can see that the time is running very, very short for them. That's my point. Uh, but for those that are in La La Land, they're in for a very rude awakening. Steve in California, you're on the air. Alex, thanks hey. for all you do. Thank you. Hey, uh, I just uh, was over your skies last week, and what I found surprising, I uh, got back into the country via Miami, and in all the years I've traveled, and I mean millions of miles abroad, the first time I'd ever been asked three specific times how much money I had on me or monetary instruments. And the last uh, DHS officer just looked me deadpan in the face and said, how much cash you got on you? Yeah, that's what this is all about, uh, is capital controls. And if you would have had silver coins on you, five or six, they would have probably tried to take them. And they admit, you're not going to leave the country now if they say you owe them money. No judge, no jury. I mean, things are dark, folks. It takes courage just to stay here. I mean, I'm, this is not rhetoric. This is really happening. <laughs> it's It's bad. And, and uh, yeah. the Brazilians themselves, I got Jeff from Brazil, and I'll tell you, they weren't too happy with the Rio Plus 20 crew. To uh, put it quite bluntly, you know, Rio and Copacabana has a pretty famous nightlife, and they're trying to shut all that down, Alex. <laughs> they're going to make it a family atmosphere, if you can believe it. Well, and that's all as a part of Rio Plus 20. Here and where I live in Temecula, I'm right near Camp Pendleton, uh, a major mi military facility. And if you get a hold of a copy of the military press, the July 1st issue, I think it's very enlightening that the military is not asleep at the wheel with respect to who I refer to as the pimp in chief. I tell you what, I want to hear about this issue. Maybe give us the headline again. We'll look it up during the break and come back and talk about it. But stay there. What's the, uh, it, it was the uh, what issue? The Military Press, July 1st issue. Military Press, July 1st issue. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. And I'll work all night to keep along. Okay, let's go back to Steve in California. He was uh, bringing up a local uh, military base publication there in California, the Marine Corps base. And uh, go ahead and tell us what it, what it said. Well, there was two commentaries in there, Alex, and one was basically referring to our commander-in-chief as not paying any attention to the Constitution and uh, performing acts that are basically seditious and, 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 and being a traitor to our nation and our Constitution. That's, that's what it boiled down to. And, uh, and is that a physical newspaper out there? Yes, it is. In fact, uh, you can go in front of any shopping center. And usually there's a free periodical publication, a monthly publication. In fact, I can grab a copy today, scan it, and uh, send it to you if you'd like. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, show tips at InfoWars.com uh, and, okay. just, and just put something in there uh, in the byline so we know. But putting it back on screen uh, for radio listeners, we did pull up the site for the local newspaper. Uh, what's the name of one of the articles? And we'll search it and put it on screen right now. Uh, dear Mr. President, and the author was Richard Matz. No, no, dear and Mr. President. Yeah, yeah, dear Mr. President should get it. And so this is something that's on the base as well? Yes, yes. Uh, we have a large community uh, right around here in Temecula. Some of our population that's, uh, you know, military. No, no, I know that. I know that's one of the biggest in the United States. But, you know, the issue here is that's what you should be saying. You're not supposed to just follow orders. I mean, if the president says grow opium in Afghanistan, you say, no, I'm not going to do it. Uh, the president says ship cocaine in, you say, no, I'm not going to do it. If the president says ship guns, 20,000 of them to Mexico and hand grenades, you better not do it, especially because if you get caught, they're going to blame it on you, which they've done. So, you know, they keep catching Army and Navy and Marines 
shipping guns in, and then it goes to court, and the, and the feds try to blame it on them, and it turns out they've been ordered to do it. And then they call them a, you know, a, 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 a gang. Uh, so, so people should know that you will be burned. It's like folks that got ordered to torture, and then when it came out, they put them in prison, and then Bush still bragged, oh, but I still ordered the torture, I'd do it again. But then he sent people to prison when they got caught because they're doing illegal things. Uh, but uh, did we find that article, gentlemen? We're still looking for it. Well, listen, I'd like you to send me a copy of that. So, so it it is waking the military up that um, that they are openly there talking about the fact that the United Nations and NATO uh, supposedly commands the military now and not Congress? Yes, yes. And this is the same base where we had this sergeant just recently who was uh, relieved of his uh, command and I think dishonorably discharged because he posted on his uh, web page, Facebook, whatever, I can't remember just what it was, uh, his dissatisfaction with the actions of the uh, administration. Well, again, though, there's also something else happening here. Obama's being blamed for all this. And I hate Rahm Emanuel. I hate Barack Obama. But they're just a mafia team hired because they'll get dirty and get all this done. Everything they're doing is what the big mega banks want. That's why Mitt Romney on his actual policies. Did you see last week when Mitt Romney was like, well, I guess his quote was, the Supreme Court's made its decision and we've got to abide by it. And he went on and said, this is not a tax, it's a penalty, agreeing with the White House, unprecedented. I think Jack Abernoff summed it up on that segment he had on 60 Minutes last Sunday. In about one sentence, he just said, the whole damn system's corrupt. Well, yeah, everybody was saying, oh, listen to Bernie Madoff, you know, saying, hey, I was just trying to compete. Yes, he was a quasi outsider, even though he created the NASDAQ and was, he was in the upper echelon, but the bottom of the upper echelon. And he cheated a bunch of globalists is why he went to jail. Uh, no, 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 you're not supposed to do that. You cheat the little guy. You take the military's death benefits. You steal the teacher and police pensions. Uh, you, know, you do stuff like that. You, you gut the country. Uh, but you don't rip off the ultra rich. And it's true whenever he gave that interview for New York uh, Magazine. And he said, look, what I'm doing is what the Federal Reserve does. It's absolutely true. But the Federal Reserve, when the Ponzi scheme goes belly up, signs us on to their debt, then has their media lecture us on how it's really our debt and how great they are. Pretty good business if you can get it. Wonderful to have means of people as your scapegoat. You and said it. Check patriots. That's all they are. You said it, brother. Thank you so much for the call. Great points. Let's talk to Moose in Florida. Moose, you're on the air. Hey, Alex. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Good. Uh, yeah, uh, I think the, the, the main word that uh, I found, uh, the, the UN criminal uh, organization is going to put us under is uh, subversion. Or is putting us under. Uh, all the countries... Uh, not only the, the U.S., but uh, all the countries around the world, um, they're trying to put out everything under one, uh, one umbrella. No, that, uh, I mean, that's what they're saying. It's, it's called subversion and sedition if you don't agree to lawless evil. And that's what the John Warren Defense Authorization Act's for. It's what all the public army manuals for FEMA camps, re-education camps, killing us, confiscating our guns, torturing us, all of it's public. The only question is, will the military actually follow the orders? Well, the globalists aren't just going to wake up one Sunday morning and say, we're big evil government taking over. America has been captured by foreign banks. Well, they actually do go on the news and say that, but they're going to say, we were hit. You know, Chicago was hit by an A-bomb, militia working with Al-Qaeda or something like that. Or, uh, or, or uh, the militia released a bioweapon from the University of Texas at Galveston, something like that. And oh my gosh, we've got to arrest all the people that are saying the government did it because they're trying to 